Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll look at the new data and the new trends. First, I want to jump into the Sierra. So this is Mammoth Mountain. Clear as day. We've got a rain snow line at about 9,000 feet. It's fluctuating. So it's all rain in the village, 8,100 feet. We start to see it change over to snow, 8,900 at Woolly Camp. And it's all snow, McCoy to the summit. At that point, it's all snow. And you can really see it here. It's raining at the base area. This is Kirkwood. It's raining at the base. Temperatures approaching 40. Wet here. Look at that rain coming down. Um, so until you get higher on the mountain, 9,000 or higher, it's all going to be rain or a mix. Um, you could see significant snow above nine to 10,000, but you can see the rain coming down here. All right, let me jump into my bullet points. So moving ahead in time, Christmas just around the corner. We've got this trough moving through California right now. High snow levels next couple of days. Tetons, light snow on the 20th and the 23rd. Wasatch, light snow 20, 22, 23. In Colorado, New Mexico, that's the exception. And probably south and southeastern Wyoming. So the Snowy Range, Hogaden, the Laramie Range, you're going to get some moderate to heavy snow there, 23 and 24. Two areas of energy may merge over Colorado. And I'm going to show them to you coming up. One coming out of the Pacific Northwest, and then one on the southern track, the southern branch of the jet. Let me take you back and show you water vapor satellite imagery. So again, on this image, when you see the oranges and the reds, that's your drier air aloft. Your moisture is in white and blue. So there's our trough hitting California right now. There's another low that will spin in behind it, and that's the one that's going to dive to the south. That'll be player number one. There's another area of low pressure back here. That tracks and nails the Pacific Northwest, and then it makes its move through the interior, and it merges, and the two should develop into another low over Colorado, affecting southern, southeastern Wyoming, and northern New Mexico. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. That's the current state of affairs. By tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, not a lot changes. Snow in BC. Here we are on Wednesday afternoon. All right, here's that second low coming out of California. It's going to spin to the south and roll into Arizona and then eventually New Mexico. Now the key moment is coming right here. So this is Saturday, 11, or 12.23 at 6.15 in the morning. You can see both pieces of energy. One coming in on the northern branch with some colder air. Second one comes in on the southern, and that's the one that's going to spread um, that rain and snow through Arizona, New Mexico, southern Utah, and eventually into Colorado. The two will merge. Watch what happens here on the 20, uh, late on the 23rd. So snow still uh, moving into Colorado, but the low is developing. You've got some snow coming out of Montana, moving through the Teton, snow moving out of the Wasatch. I just don't have a whole lot for the Tetons or the Wasatch, but most of the of what's going to occur is going to happen in Colorado, southern Wyoming, so southeastern Wyoming, and northern New Mexico once that low finally does develop. Let me show you the jet pattern. So this is 1224, and you can see there's a dip. You've got southern branch support. You can see the trough, and there's even an open door for cold air to come in from the north. So that's what you need. We're going to have snow all the way down to uh, 5280 Valley, the Valley floor here in the Denver area on the 24th. Here is the jet way down to the 27th down the road. So by the 27th, that storm is gone. But we now we look to the west, and you can start to see what could be a more active pattern shaping up as we head towards New Year's and into January. January, uh, to me, looks like it's going to be active for the west. All right, here is the... Uh, forecast radar for 1224 at 5 p.m. Snow in Wyoming, snow in Colorado, all the way down into Denver, snow in northern New Mexico. All right, here is 1225 at 10 o'clock in the morning. Same thing. That low is just spinning and it's wrapping moisture around it. So you've got snow being thrown all the way back towards the continental divide in Colorado. Snow over Casper, Hoggeden, uh, the Cheyenne Ridge, all the way down into Denver and the foothills. All right, so the numbers very light in the first period here. Um, some decent numbers up in BC and a little bit of snow in the Pacific Northwest. And again, the CRS snow above nine or 10,000 feet. So period two is where it all happens. And this is 1223 to 1227, potentially moderate to heavy snow, parts of Wyoming, Colorado, Northern New Mexico, lighter snows, Tetons, Wasatch, and some decent snow, some moderate accumulations possible in parts of Montana and the interior sections of central Idaho. The Northeast, not a lot has changed. It is exceptionally warm. It's very wet, very windy up in the in the north in the Northeast with uh, 
with some really just awful flooding happening up there right now, flash flooding. Looking down the road, I just don't have much, and there isn't much accumulation. It's just way too warm. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.